Hello, welcome back to Autopop Culture. Today we're going over the fourth album by Ed Sheeran called Equals. So I have, I really like Ed Sheeran. I love his music. I like his, his vocals, his sound and everything. I think that one thing that I'm getting, I'm starting to kind of feel is that I don't usually like his singles. I think that I under, but I understand them better when they're in the album. Like, Certain, like, I felt like, uh, plus, I took, I liked A-Team, but I wasn't really attached to it yet. Heard the full album, got the gist. Uh, when X came out in 2014, I did like Sing, so that was, like, the one album where I actually did like it. And, actually, no, I think, I think all of these, other than X, the other albums, I didn't really like the singles. Like, for, so... Divide. I didn't really like The Shape of You. I thought it was a very typical type of song. It felt, it sounded very see, or Sia. It just felt very, just like, you're way more talented, you're t way too talented to be doing this type of sound and kind of just, I don't know, it just didn't feel like him. So I was like, eh. But then I heard the album and I was like, oh, this all makes sense except for Shape of You. I still don't like Shape of You. Um, so here we are with Equals and the first single was uh, Bad Habits, which I like the sound, but I didn't care for the song, if that makes any sense. Like, the sound how the, like, kind of sound, which is great, but it also sounds a little typical, a little sound that I've heard multiple times in the dance direction, especially in the 2010s. So I felt like it was leaning in that direction while still not really, it, but not really going fully, fully for it. It felt like it was still giving you a little, like, space to like still give still be called a pop song without it called to EDM and I feel like that's great for the EDM and dance producers to want to do kind of a remix of this song so it's going to be great in that direction but as a song itself I wasn't really sold I did like the sound I like the music video it was kind of silly and fun and but other than that I wasn't really attached to it when the, now this album in a different story complete different story honestly it has a complete different feel it's pretty much about him uh, talking about his love with his wife, and it has it just has much more depth. I feel like I've always compared this to like Justin Bieber's like two albums that kind of hit about his wife and how like just very surface it's, it stayed. This one goes deeper, and I like that it, he does. He talks about like like actual examples of different like times inside his life inside their life and how they grew to love each other and how like the things they went through and how the his career has affected the love life and how it with its ups and downs of it of course um so yeah so i'm gonna go through some of this album and talk about the songs i like maybe get some shout outs to some of the songs i didn't star um so starting off with tides great song to start off with i love the kind of kind of just like it sounds very fast. It kind of, it sounds like tight. It sounds like a waves kind of coming in, but like very like crazy, like deep waves kind of thing. I don't know why, uh, why it makes you think that, but it makes me think that. Um, the idea is pretty much summarizing the just, the just a position of his, um, achievements going from being a kid and how, or a teenager and all the stuff that he's learned then to being a father and being more mature and being more like, the idea of just like, I know what I'm looking for as a person now, and I have a meaning to myself, and looking back, I understand that I'm so embarrassed of what I've done, but I feel like all of it kind of added up to one place kind of thing, which I really like. Um, he says, everything has changed, but I still, but I'm still the same somehow, and I really like that. I like that kind of, that thought, and just the whole thing is just kind of tying you in and collecting you to see, like, this is where I'm at so far with my career, which makes me think that this might be the last, um, symbol kind of, um, album, because we, we, I think there's, there's only four of these symbols, so I think there can't, I don't think there's another one you could do, like, I don't think you could do percentage or whatever, I don't think that's gonna happen, but I could be wrong. But it seems like a night. this feels like a nice little ending to a good, like, if, uh, like a good ending, nice little four-part ending to 
the whole uh, symbols, kind of signs of that he's been doing with them, like, I don't even know what they're called, um, mathematical signs. So yeah, so yes, I love the beginning, great start. Going into Shivers, eh, I thought it was okay. I felt like it was a little, like, um, how I felt about Bad Habits was like, just doesn't really feel like, doesn't really give me anything. Um, I do like the string plucks, I'll give it that. Um, then it goes to First Times, which I really, really love. This one talks about just the idea of first time, things that he's done as a first time as an adult. And it's all acoustic, which is, and it also has a production, uh, with, um, Fred again, uh, Fred again. And I really, really like Fred again. I think he's amazing. And it's kind of interesting. I didn't know that he worked with Ed Sheeran pretty much the whole time. And this song doesn't sound like him at all, but I think that it's just kind of cool to see that he has a lot of diversity in his produ uh, producing. Um, this one's really nice. It pretty much just talked about the first time that they've done stuff and, the first song, like, for example, he goes, the first, uh, kiss, the first night, the first song I, um, the first song that made you cry, first look on your eyes when I say I love you, um, I can still feel the fir the butterflies from when we stumbled, um, home that night, I can't wait to make a million more first times. I really like that, it's very simple to the point, and I just like, it's so cute, it's completely gonna be a wedding song, and people are gonna dance to it, or walk down the, all, the, the aisle towards it and everything, it's gonna be, it's, I can already, I can just feel it happening. People are just planning them out right now. Um, Bad Habits, the next one, didn't really care for it. Going into Overpass Graffiti, I didn't care for it until it kept going. Because I was like, over, like, I didn't like the whole, we never fade, like, uh, graffiti on the Overpass. I have never seen f graffiti fade on Overpass, especially in LA, so it's just like, eh, I don't really know what you're talking about, but I get the idea of what he's saying. Um, I just didn't really care for that metaphor in a way, but everything else that happened afterwards, I really liked. Like, I like the, I know time may change the way that you think of us, but I really, but I remember the way we were. We were, or you were the first full stop love that we will never leave, or that will never leave. Um, you'll never be lost to me. Pretty much the idea is just, having unconditional love during, like, during tough times and when the times that they want to leave and but they don't and just rough patches inside a relationship, they, they stay together kind of thing. It's a really beautiful song. Um, Joker and the Queen, speaking of, speaking of beautiful songs, this one has a, like, kind of poker metaphor to how, um, his lover, or his wife chose her, chose him, her, him, um, in the end, and just, like, how people kind of, he calls himself a joker, kind of insinuating that he's, like, I'm very lucky to have you in my life, and having this situation happen, and just, like, how did I even get, like, how did we even come together as a person that you are compared to the person I am, which is, I think it's kind of, like, putting himself down a bit, but at the same time, it's just, it just doesn't feel that way, it feels more just like, I'm just very lucky to have you, um, Going into the next one's really nice is the leaving your uh, leaving your life pretty much a letter to his uh, daughter, and this one talks about the just just being just loving the idea of just like he says like if I never say that I love you or if I forget to say I love you before I go to my flight, just know that I love you kind of thing, and I really love that. And just like he he once he's just saying he's going to be by your side no matter what and throughout the times even though he's always away from, or he's away a lot because of his job but he's that does not take away him out how much he feels about her um very nice song going to collide which has this kind of two-step 90s or 90s two-step kind of production which is really nice um this sounds very 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 fred at, uh fred again um at least something i can more recognize i can think like oh that's definitely fred again um, I like the sound. This one just talks about just being when he's in like a dark places and how how they collide. It, like life begins, and he he literally says, "When when you and I collide, you bring me to life," and pretty much is how the love just really really means a lot to him, um, even when his dark dark days and everything. Um, I didn't really care for two step. I felt like it was low key kind of trap, and I do like I do appreciate that he does have a nod towards rap and especially in his like collab little or his um mixtapes i know he does a good job in that direction but i also feel like sometimes i don't really 
and just something felt off about it, but, so I'll skip past that one. But anyways, going to the next one, which is Stop the Rain. I love Stop the Rain. The one, the way that he pre uh, talked about this is saying that when something, when one thing ends, another thing always begins. And so, and also kind of keep, and he says, don't let the ones that hurt you see you cry. Just pretty much just understanding that there's always going to be times that people will not like you or try to take advantage of you or might fuck you over and everything, but just don't let that define you and don't let, like, keep pushing, keep going. As he says, like, you cannot stop the rain, holding an umbrella when the gray clouds come around again. Pretty much just the idea of just, like, it's going to happen, just come prepared kind of thing. I do like the sound of, of the um, the song. I like the whole idea of the song. It's really nice. Um, love and slow motion. I get the idea of it about staying present and the idea that he is always in a fast life with his career. He's taking the time now to like slow down and appreciate and be present with his partner, which is really nice. Um, but the really kickstopper, like the biggest one for me is uh, Visiting Hours. So this one pretty much talks about the, um, his friend, which I hope I pronounced this right, uh, Go Godinsky, uh, Michael Doginsky, Doginsky, um, or, oh my god, Doginsky, Godinsky, pretty much he, um, is a, he's a music produ or promoter, he passed away, and during the time, before he could, before Ed could join the funeral, or go to the funeral, he had to, had a, he had to be quarantined for two weeks, like usual, and during that time, he pretty much wrote finished the song before he went there and presented it at that funeral, which is a really, really nice, really sweet thing to do. The song is very, very heartfelt and it's really nice. I love the part when he's like, I have I wish that haven't had visiting hours so I could just show up and bring in the news. The news being that he has a new kid or he has, he has a daughter and just life has changed since uh, Michael has been gone. It's a really, really beautiful song. Um, and then going into Sandman, which is a really nice one. This one pretty much talks about the idea, which is another one I like. It talks about the idea of lullaby, or pretty much a lullaby to his daughter. And it's really, really beautiful. It has a nice little ukulele kind of feel to it. It also has, it, he said that he kind of played with a lot of the, um, like kid instruments to kind of lean into that direction of kind of a lullaby towards his, uh, his daughter. It's really beautiful. It's a nice little direction. I love the whole hanging out with the Sandman. Um, little lyric in that is really nice. And that's pretty much what I did for Stars. Um, the last song that I liked, uh, the last song, which I did not write down for some reason, but I did hear it, and I felt like that one had a nice little, like, sound to it, but didn't I didn't really connect with it entirely. Um, this album, other than that, is a pretty good album. Once again, he does a good job with his albums. I, it's... It, it just, once again, I like his albums. The singles are already hit and miss with me all the time. Um, I give this a 9 out of 10. Leave a comment below tell me what you thought. What were your favorite songs on this album? Let me know. Um, if you like this, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell too, to get more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.